Hello, and welcome to Two Minutes with Mayor TJ. In honor of Black History Month, I want to lift up the countless black authors, creatives, educators, inventors, scientists, service, and community leaders, those documented in history by name, and especially the countless other history makers, many who are nameless in history books, yet played instrumental roles through their works that enshrine St. Louis as an epicenter of the civil rights movement. From Dred Scott, Annie Malone, to Maya Angelou, St. Louis native daughters and sons have always been integral figures in not just black history, but American history. Centuries later, St. Louis still faces a threat. The same Jefferson City politicians who attack our schools and are trying to block our kids from learning our shared history. They are pushing outdated tales and spreading lies through academic curriculums to keep people divided in opposition of each other. Most importantly, distracting us from real common ground positions that we can build upon. Like most parents, I want my son to get an education that challenges him and pushes him to be the best he can be. Teachable moments that produce actual growth require some discomfort. If we can teach our children to welcome and learn from these moments, not run away from them, they'll be better equipped to navigate today's world and grow into well-rounded adults. Dictating what our teachers say and banning books are for those who are too scared to confront the history that created ongoing modern day problems, which many of us are trying to fix. Only through these conversations about our country's past can we create a more inclusive and just future. Our country was founded on ideals like liberty and freedom, but we haven't always lived up to those values. We owe it to our kids to confront those moments and we should trust them to ask the right questions and come to an understanding of their own. So this Black History Month, let's celebrate the ways Black St. Louisans have made our city what it is today while recommitting ourselves to learning our shared history and teaching it honestly in our schools. But most importantly, illustrating our mission and vision through our day-to-day -day actions to make sure our city is accessible open and welcoming to all.